thinking that we would make this darling gift basket um, that you could fill with favorite things for your mother, your friend. Uh, just make it a fun project. Just be aware that this basket is going to take a little bit of time to make. It's not a hard project, but it's just time consuming. So I hope you enjoy it. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I really appreciate you tuning in and I also appreciate all the comments and likes. Um, that's just really nice of you. Uh, it's always fun to look at all the comments that you have and hopefully I've answered all of your comments and acknowledged you. Today we're gonna make this adorable basket. Uh, I've used to make these all of the time uh, for Easter, for gifts, uh, I've made some for Christmas. So just depending on the fabric that you decide to use uh, will just lend itself to the holiday or a gift basket. And I like to fill these baskets with things that, um, I call it things I like basket. So if you were giving it to your mom, you could fill it with all the things that she likes, maybe earrings, perfume, bath bombs, just make it a fun basket uh, and a gift for her that she could keep it in and enjoy. So today we are going to uh, just need a few things. You're going to need some fabric. You can also use fabric that you have at home, scraps, uh, remnants, things that uh, you have left over. But I went and I bought three different colors of fabric and I bought a half a yard of each piece and this will make a basket. You'll need scissors, you will need uh, some masking tape, you will need some um, piping cord. And the piping cord I have found at Joann's and Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can find it at any fabric store or Amazon. If you're just going to make like uh, little nut cups to go at the table, obviously you're gonna want a smaller cord. Uh, the fabric I found at Hobby Lobby, uh, Hobby Lobby right now isn't doing their 40% off coupons, but watch their sales. They always have really good sales and their fabric does go on sale quite often. So just check that out. Joanne has some really pretty fabric also. Um, but again, you can use whatever you have at home. Uh, you will also need one of these plastic yarn needles that you can purchase at any craft store or fabric store. So you'll need one of those. You'll also need uh, a yardstick or a ruler, tape measure, anything like that, because uh, we're going to measure our fabric and cut it into strips or tear it into strips. It depends on how the look that you want, uh, whether you are going to tear it. This is a piece that I tore. You see the rough edges and this basket right here this has the rough edges i like that look uh, this piece was just cut and it isn't quite as rough looking doesn't have quite those rough edges so however you want your fabric to look is what you will need to do as far as cutting it or ripping it so let's get started okay so let's start with uh you're going to just mark inch on all of your fabric because I'm going to tear my fabric so I'm just marking it and it doesn't need to be really precise I mean don't worry about that just just do however you can and whatever happens there it's going to be great okay so we're going to take and tear our fabric all the way across the fabric is 45 wide. Okay, when you get to the end, I'm going to take and clip that. Okay, and that will eventually, I'm going to cut that off too on all of the pieces of fabric. So let's do that again. Let's, I'll show you again here. So we're going to rip the fabric all the way across. Whoa, that one went really good. Didn't even need to clip it. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all of my fabric and tear it. So you can go ahead and get your fabric all ready to go and we'll come back ready to start our basket. Okay, we've got all of our fabric uh, ripped and we're ready to go. Just one thing I wanted to mention again, 
Um, this is a, a 10 inch basket. I bought 10 yards of this cording. I don't think it will take all of that cording, but I did buy 10 yards of that. Right here we have a yard and a half of fabric that is ripped in one inch strips. You can use as many style styles of fabric that you want. You can mix all your colors. I've made some really cute baskets that had lots of colors in it. Looks really country-ish, old fashioned. So, or I've made some that were all cream, white, beige. So just use whatever fabric appeals to you. And let's get started here. Let's start uh, wrapping our cord. Okay, so before we start, I need to let you know exactly where we're going to begin. We're going to begin right in the center uh, to make this start the circle. And we're gonna go out and then, then we'll start, then we'll move on to the sides, okay? So this is right where we're going to begin, is right in the middle. Get your cord. Um, just a reminder to leave the tape on uh, your cord because it will fray back. So if you ever cut your cord, make sure that you have either masking tape or scotch tape on it so that it doesn't fray out. So you're going to cover the end and kind of tuck it down. It's kind of hard this right to begin with, but once you get going, it's not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to tuck that and we're going to wrap it. We are going to wrap about an inch and a half. Let's let's measure that. Okay, so we have got, well, actually we've got two inches there. Okay, so let's go with that. Let's wrap that. Okay, so now <clears throat> I should have three inches wrapped because we're going to fold it over so that it's double. Okay, so remember, this is the middle, it's right there, okay? And you want it to be tight so that it's sturdy so your basket doesn't just fall apart. Okay, so you're going to fold it in half, your cord, wrap both pieces with your fabric, okay? Both pieces, then you're going to go back to just wrapping your single piece. You're gonna wrap and wrap. Okay, and so then we're going to go back over to the other side. I've, I've gotta have one more wrap because right there, right in that band, we are going to take, I'm gonna pull it really tight really, really tight because we want your basket or our baskets to be sturdy. I've put on the plastic needle on my fabric right on the first turn. I'm going to poke that right down through, make sure my fabric is straight and pull that through. Okay. Can you see what we've got there? That is the, the center of our basket on the bottom. Okay, so this is right where I put my needle and I pulled it through, okay? So we're gonna pull it tight, really tight. Now I'm back to wrapping it, the cord, singly. We're gonna wrap, keep wrapping. We're gonna turn the corner again. Okay, so right there is where I am going to, I'm gonna go back and put that needle right back down in there. Pull it tight because we want it to be solid. Okay, so about every quarter around the your shape, your oval, you're going to go and catch it. Okay, so right there, I've got a hole right there. So that's where I'm going to catch it. I'm gonna pull, pull it down through there and pull it tight. Then I'm gonna wrap again. I'm gonna wrap and wrap. Okay, so on this, I'm just gonna keep wrapping. This is where you're going to add another color. So grab another piece. And 
I just tuck it underneath and wrap over it. Wrap over it, okay? So a couple of times around so that you hide where you've started. Okay, can you see where I just wrapped over? Okay, so right now I'm a quarter of a way around again and there's a hole right there. So let me, right there. And so that's where I'm going to um, attach it again. I just gotta thread my needle really quick. Okay. All right, so we're going to attach it right there. And then we're going to go back and wrap. Keep wrapping. Okay, this loop, that hole right there is really big. So I'm going to go back right through on this side and attach it so that the base is, is really sturdy. You can't go wrong with attaching it. So if you feel like to make your basket more sturdy, to attach it in more places, go ahead, feel free to do that. It just gives it character is all it does. It's just fun. All right, so we're gonna go down through here. And pull it tight and start wrapping again so as you progress on the bottom of your basket every time you come to a place that you can attach go back down in okay I've got another place right there so that's right where I'm gonna go down through, pull it tight, and attach it. Okay, can you see that? Then I'm gonna keep going. Quarter turn again. Let's see if that's gonna be, oh yep, okay, right there. Okay, so I've got, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a hole right there. So I'm gonna push it down through. And I'm gonna take that off. Okay, you're gonna find that you get lots of little ends. So just keep your scissors handy and just cut those off, get them out of your way. There. Then we can just clean that up. Okay, perfect. Where there is a big space, can you see that that hole is really big right there? I am gonna go back and attach it again right through there, simply because I just want the bottom to be really nice and sturdy so that it, whatever I put inside of it doesn't fall out. So I'm gonna add another stitch right there. I feel better about that. Okay, so then we're gonna wrap Wrap, wrap. Okay, so then we're to the end. So right through there, we're gonna go down through. Get that fabric pulled tight. And we're going to wrap. So I'm going to add another stitch right there because that's another wide one. So I've got a stitch on the left side and I'll put a stitch on the right side of that hole, okay? So we're ready to add our third color. So just tuck it underneath and wrap. And again, you can use however many colors you want. 
just make it your basket. It's just fun and unique. Each basket is new, unique and different, so just make it yours. So, all right, I just want to remind you that anytime you have a big hole that you need to catch it on the, the, the left and the right and just keep wrapping, make sure that it's tight. Also, make sure that it's flat. This is the bottom of your basket, so it has to be flat. I'm just gonna keep working this, and every time I, I find a hole, okay, so there's one, let's see, where's my needle? Right here, and I'm gonna take it down through. Pull your fabric tight. Okay, so that hole was smaller, so you only need to put one, one stitch in there to attach it. Okay, so wrap, a couple of wraps. I've got another hole right there that I'm gonna put my needle down through, catch my fabric, and attach it. Okay, make sure it's flat. You need to decide how big you want your basket to be. I want mine to be about a 10 inch basket, so I'm gonna keep building on the base. I'm gonna go and finish this, and then when we come back, then we'll talk about how to go up and make the sides. Okay, so I've got the bottom of my basket all completed. It measures about nine inches, so I'm ready to go up on the sides. Um, I just want to show you this side isn't my favorite, so I'm going to put this as the bottom of the inside of my basket. So always check both sides and then choose which side you want to go. Uh, on the bottom inside of your basket. Okay, so you're still going to do the same concept as far as wrapping and attaching. So we're going to keep wrapping, but this time when you are ready, just give me one sec, I've got to wrap just a couple more wraps here. Okay, so when I am ready to attach, I am going to bring my cord up. Can you see right there that I'm starting to make the side of my basket? So when I go down through the hole right there, I'm going to make sure that it's starting to go up. Can you see that I've got a level there? So as I keep going around, I'll keep attaching, but making sure that it's going up to make the side. Okay, so let's wrap again. And remember how when you were starting your basket right in the middle, how if you had a large space that you would put, you would attach it in two spaces. I'm going to do the same as I'm going up the side. So right here I've got a a large space. So I'm going to go down right through here. Make sure that my fabric isn't twisted funny. Okay, see, and I'm going up to, to make the side. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap a couple of times. And then in the same space right here, I'm gonna go down right there so that it will be attached and it'll be a sturdy basket. Okay, can you see how we're going up? That's our first row on our side. So a couple of wraps. Okay, and I have a space right there. I'm gonna go down through. And wrap. A couple of wraps. I have another space right here. Take it down through.
straighten out my fabric so that it goes smooth. There we go. Okay, can you see that we're building up on the side? It's gonna be so cute. Okay, then we're gonna wrap. I think I'm gonna take my needle off because I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to go down through right there. Pull it up, so I'm just gonna wrap. Okay, let's add a green. So we're gonna tuck it under. Wrap it around a couple of times just to reinforce it. Add the needle. And there's a nice spot right there. Put it down through. And pull it tight. Okay. And we're just going to keep going. Make sure that you keep um, wrapping it tight and pulling it tight because you want the the wall of your basket to be even and, and not floppy. So make sure that you pull it tight as you're going up. Uh, the basket, the little pink basket that I showed you right here, this basket has nine rows. So I'm gonna go up nine rows on this basket here also. And again, make sure that you keep those, that fabric tight and those walls secure. Um, again, when you have a wider space, remember that you attach to the left, you attach to the right, and pull it tight, and add on to those walls of your basket. So I'm going to continue alternating fabrics and building the walls of my basket, and when I've got that all done, we'll be back. And then we can start on the handle. Okay, we're just going to finish this off. Um, Look how cute, all these cute fabrics together. Um, I hope you're at this point also. So I'm going to finish it off about right here. So I'm going to get tape. Remember when I told you, let's see, I think that was about where I wanted to be. Okay. Remember that you have to tape it, otherwise your cord will fray. Okay, so I'm going to cut right in the middle of that tape so that they won't fray off. Okay, perfect. The reason that I am taking it about right here to this side, um, remember it's spiral and it's working itself up and we just wanna kinda of even it out. So as we work to the end right here, we're gonna kind of pull it tighter so that it blends because the best we can, okay? So, I hope that helps a little bit. So let's finish up wrapping. It always takes a little bit longer on this project than, than you think, but, but it's so cute when it's all done. And then you can get put all of your fun things inside. Whoops, I missed the place I needed to be right there. Get talking and sidetracked here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of start pulling it a little bit tighter so that it'll blend in. Make sure that your fabric comes through straight instead of twisted. Start wrapping it a little bit tighter so that I can hopefully even that out. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to tighten that. Take that down through that hole again. And bring it up. Wrap it and take it through that last little spot right there. 
I'm going to wrap it twice since I am ending it right there. Oh, I might even wrap it one more time. Let's do it three times so we can just kind of get that right there. Okay, then I'm just going to tuck that back, just tuck that in. There's our basket. Look how cute it is. I'm so excited about the way it turned out. You can go along and kind of even it out, but you can see that you can either kind of push it down or, or pull it up. Okay, so I want to set this aside for just a minute and talk about the handles. Okay, so we've cut two cords, 30 inches long. Now I'm going to use the tape and tape it together and tape this one together. And this is going to create our handle on our basket. So I'll kind of, I'll place those on the basket so you kind of get an idea of, of where we're going from here. Half of your basket, then we're going to do the same with the other half, with the other cord, so the handle will look like this, okay? So let's get one on, decide where we're gonna start. Okay, let's start right there. Put your plastic uh, yarn needle on. Okay, so remember how when you're doing your basket, you've got these holes right here, okay? You've got holes. So what we want to do is we want to start there again. I'm gonna show you a trick how to attach your pieces of fabric together. So here's your fabric. You're gonna fold it over. You're gonna make a little cut. You're going to take the, the piece that you want to add to it and make a little cut. Okay, you're gonna have to watch careful. So thread this through the little cut. Okay, and now you've got the cut in the other fabric. So you are going to Pull your fabric up through the other cut. And that attaches your fabric together. Okay? So now we don't have to worry about that end of the fabric. We're going to go back right through that hole. Need to make sure that your fabric is coming the right way. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to attach. It's going to be right there. And we're going to go right back through that same hole to reinforce our um, handle so that it stays on really tight. Make sure your fabric is coming out even the way you want it to come out. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to reinforce it one more time. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then you're going to on your basket, you're going to decide where you want to end. So when I look at this basket, this looks like it's the middle right here. So I'm going to end it about there. So we're going to wrap again. Okay, wrap. Keep wrapping. You still need to attach. Find your little hole in your right in your cord right there. Pull it through. Where you get these little strings that you have to cut off every now and again. Kind of get in your way. 
there we go okay then you're going to wrap keep wrapping you should have this wrapping down oh it takes quite a while to get this all put together okay so we've got another little hole right here pull it through keep wrapping again another place right there to attach it how are we doing here we've about got it okay keep wrapping okay we're gonna attach wrap let's see how that looks that works okay so when you start going having your handle go up you want to make sure that your last stitch has been attached to your basket because that will make it solid so uh, wrap that a couple of times so that as as you go up um, you won't see the cord okay remember attach before you start going up okay the little trick with cutting on your handle i think it's important that you attach your fabric on your handle your basket seems to be okay without attaching it together but the handle i just think that it needs just that little bit of extra support there so remember we cut the little hole take another piece of fabric if you want your handle all the same fabric, it would be donning that way, however you choose to do it. Okay, so we're gonna cut. Through the hole. And then you take your fabric through again. Can you see that? Right through there. Pull it all the way through. And pull it tight and it is connected so to hide that you're going to have to go over it a couple of times that you'll secure see you can't even see that we did that okay so now we are going to just work on the handle and we are not attaching it to the basket we are just wrapping the handle make sure that you uh, cover the handle really well. Just work it very carefully. Make sure that it is smooth and tight so that it won't move. Okay, so we are ready to attach. So it's important that you, you measure that and you see right exactly where you need to go. Okay, remember on the other side how we had to attach it? So that's right where you need to begin again. Let's get our needle threaded. Okay. So make sure that lines up. And we are ready to attach through there. Make sure your fabric is straight how you want it to be. And you're going to wrap and wrap and attach through the little hole. Okay. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? That's gonna be so, so cute. 
So we need to add another piece of fabric. And I think what I'm going to do, since this whole side right here is green, I'm just going to add another piece of green. So I'm gonna cut. a little hole take your fabric through again and pull it tight oh perfect okay all right it's gonna get a little technical right here and a little bit hard to maneuver but we can do it we can do hard things, right? That's the hardest thing you've had to do today. Life is good. Okay, so pull that. Okay, remember that when you've got that little knot that you're going to want to hide it. So let's wrap that. of times so that you won't see that knot. Perfect. To end this off, whoops, I didn't turn my fabric. Oh, there we go. Okay, I am going to wrap it clear to the end. I've got a twist here just a sec. There we go. There, that looks better. Then I'm going to go back and go through. Make sure your fabric keep getting it twisted. There we go. I'm going to wrap. Oh, that's so cute. That turned out so darling. Okay, what I'm going to do though, see, this is right where I started. So I'm going to wrap right there. Double that up. cut off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and get some fabric glue and glue that down cut it just a little bit longer so that I can kind of stuff it up in there and put fabric glue right along there so that it will stay oh my gosh that is so so cute okay we are ready to do the other side Okay, so we've got one side done. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side I'll put together uh, attached, and then I will show you how to attach the handles across. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got part of this attached, but we need to talk about um, how to attach the top. So remember when you're going to make the handle, you've got to attach it to the basket. So I'm going to wrap and then I'm going to attach. Right before I'm ready to go up. Again, make sure that your fabric is how you want it to be. Okay, so I kind of take those together to give me an idea what I needed to do. Okay, so I've attached it, but now I need to wrap it and make sure that I hide the cord. So let's hide the cord really good. 
Okay, we've got that. Hide the cord. Okay, I'm going to take that off and get rid of that. There. So it'll be easier to work with. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we are going to attach this. Let's cut that off too. Got lots of little strings. When, okay, so we are going to wrap all the way around your handle, both handles, both pieces, all the way around, all the way around. So it goes all the way around. So one and a half. Okay, and when it goes half, you're going to go up in between and down. And pull. All right, so let me show you up here. Let me get a piece of fabric that's totally different. Okay, so you're going to wrap all the way around both handles all the way around okay then you're going to go to the bottom split your handles in half and your fabric goes up in between the handles then it's going to go below the handles and it makes it look kind of like a little bow Okay, I hope that helped. So we are back to here. Okay, we're going to need to add fabric. So fold, cut. All those little pieces of string, okay. Fold and cut. Pull it up through the other little hole. Whoops, I did that. I want the right sides on the top. And pull it tight. You've got your little knot. Okay, so now we're going to go back to wrapping the handle. So remember when you have a little knot that you need to um, cover it a couple of times so that you don't see where you've attached your fabric, okay? So wrap that a couple of times. Okay, so my knot is hidden. Then I'm going to wrap the handle. And this is your choice how far apart you want those little, I guess we could call them little bows, because that's kind of what it looks like to me, a little bow on there. Um, that's probably, what, about an inch and a half. I think I will do another one. Okay, so here we go. Wrap it all the way around down below, in between, and in between. Okay, and make sure that your fabric is how you want it to be. Oh, look how cute. And pull it tight. Okay, let's do it again. So we're going to wrap and wrap. Maybe one. Let's do our bow right there. Okay, ready for a bow. Wrap all the way around. In 
between. Oh, we got lots of little pieces of string there. Let's get rid of those. Okay. In between. And down in between. Oh, cute. Look how cute that little handle's gonna be. Fix your fabric how you want it to be. Okay, we're gonna wrap again. Okay, so I'm gonna finish wrapping and connecting the handle, and then we will come back and I will show you how to finish it up. All right, so I've attached another piece of fabric and I need to do one more little bow knot thing right there. And then we're gonna attach. Remember when we attach, we always have to attach like right close so the handle will be sturdy. Okay, so we're gonna wrap. And where we have a knot right here, we're gonna just keep wrapping until we've got that knot hidden, okay? So we'll just, okay, we've got that hidden. So I'm going to back up right there. Okay, wrap it up in between, down below in between. There's our little bow. Okay, then we're going to wrap and wrap. our needle on. We're going to connect right there. Just a second, I'll show you. Get it. I'm going to wrap it one more time down through there just to make it just a little bit stronger. Okay. So I've got it right there. Then we're going to wrap again. Okay, and I've got a little place right there that I can connect. So we're gonna go down through and connect. Wrap. And wrap. Oh, we might make it with this one piece of fabric. Okay, we're gonna wrap. Make sure that we wrapped good. Okay, oh, that looks good. Okay, get your fabric how you want it. Okay, we are going to connect. We've already connected there, but that's how we're gonna end it. We're gonna connect right there. Make sure your fabric is nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull that out. Oops, I've got a little twist in my fabric. Let me get that out. I'm gonna pull that out. So inside my basket, I'm just gonna slide that underneath and pull. And then I will add some fabric glue on that. Oh my goodness, look how cute. How fun is that? Okay, you can just kind of squish it or pull it where you need to to make it look just how you want it to look. And your basket is done. Okay, what a cute basket. So the only thing left to do is to fill it with your favorite things or with the favorite things of someone that you're going to give that basket to. So I hope you enjoyed this today. It takes a little bit longer uh, to make than some of the other things we've done, but look how adorable it is. It's so cute, such a cute gift or something that would be cute for your home. So make sure uh, to hit the notification bell so you will know when we're making more fun projects uh, this year. And uh, like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching today.